my name is Henry, your online location director. I'm here in Laodicea, the ruins here in southern Turkey. The ruins of Laodicea or Laodicea are located in modern day Denizli, approximately 99 miles east and inland of Ephesus. Situated on a prominent hill, the bustling city was home to the largest trade of fine wool and art in the region. Today, the ruins are preserved through local efforts and give a stunning look at the life of the early church and insight into revelations about the church today. Laodicea is really characterized mostly by what happens in and actually under the city. And if you look at biblical references and historical uh, books that talk about the city from the locals' perspective as well as from a biblical sense, you'll notice this running theme of Laodiceans that not only match the character of the people to the city, but also would help really dictate and predict what will happen to them in the future. Laodicea came into full power and really full society in the 4th and 5th century as more and more people of really a lot of wealth came into play. It was very strategic and where it was situated on top of a hill, had great views, but more importantly, the way that they built the city was significant as well. On to the south side of where I'm standing here today is the large amphitheater, of course, where most of the activity happened around the Agora. And then over to the west side, you'll notice a lot of the library options were there as well, and buildings and living spaces. But all of them were connected by this common aqueduct that fed into small little pipes that came into large estuary areas. and over the course of time getting all this water into the city was really easy. Now being on a hill it was difficult to do that so the pumping system that they had was really uh, very complicated and one of the things that characterizes Laodicea is how they got their water into the city. In the north part over there especially towards the Pamukkale region and in the Enzik mountains to the south Two, two types of water sources came through. The hot water from the springs up north and the cold rigid, like the frigid cold waters came from the south and the ocean. And while their attempt to really get this uh, aqueduct is working so that both types of waters would be available, in the effort to bring and pump the water up towards the hill, the water mixed together and became lukewarm water. In biblical reference, especially to modern day Christianity, you can see the letters are written refer to this lukewarm water that came out of these pipes as a characteristic of the people that were living there. Laodiceans were known for really their lack of zeal. They weren't one way or the other, they were just right in the middle. They uh, had no definite opinion on anything and they weren't really fighting for anything in particular. And so the warning to the church of uh, Laodicea really was to be careful of that lukewarm posture, that lukewarm stance in which although it was characterized like the water that came through their wells, it was something that would really bring their demise as the city grew and grew but eventually came to its downfall after an earthquake in the 7th century. The physical context of the city reminds us just how important it is to never be lukewarm when it comes to things of God, that we would either be on fire and igniting passion and flame into our faith or that we would be a cool, refreshing stream of grace and hope to those around us. But that we would never be in the middle or neutral when it comes to these things. That we would be a reminder to everyone as a church of the igniting power of Christ and the refreshing grace that He provides.